What's up, guys? Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for more Martin Siddick Metal Madness today. For the next two weeks, our videos will introduce you to the Martin Siddick stainless steels. Unlike the austenitic and ferritic types, a Martin Siddick stainless steel can be hardened by conventional heat treatments. You may be familiar with heat treating carbon and alloy steels. In very simplified terms, you heat the material up to a temperature where the structure becomes austenitic and then cool at a rate fast enough and presto, martensite is the resulting structure. Cool more slowly and the steel structure would become ferrite and iron carbides. With the faster cooling, the carbon atoms do not have time to form the carbides and become stuck. Martensite is considerably harder and stronger but can be more brittle than the other structures we have touched on in previous videos, the austenite and ferrite types. The hardness that can be achieved goes up with increasing carbon content of the alloy. Here in part one, we will be discussing alloys with a carbon content of 0.15% and less, which yield a hardness of 45 Rockwell C and below, depending on the amount of carbon. At their max, hardness, these alloys are also most resistant to general corrosion, but tend to be a little brittle. To get a combination of corrosion performance and useful strength and hardness, the material is tempered to make it less brittle. Wow. So now we're balancing the hardness, strength, and corrosion performance we need. These Martin Siddick stainless types also lose toughness in impact at low temperatures. So we need to factor that in as well. Sounds complicated and best left to the engineers and designers. So we'll leave it there. Anyway, let's get into some of the more common alloys in this category. Type 410 at 11.5 to 13.5% chromium has a carbon max of 0.15%. Depending on the actual carbon content, the maximum hardness it can achieve varies from the low 30s to low 40s RC. Various specifications restrict the chemistry or require a range of hardness in standard tests to assure the higher hardness version when needed. AMS 5612 for aircraft applications is one that requires the higher hardness in a standard test. 403 is a very similar chemistry and is known as turbine quality. Originally used for steam turbine blades, valves, and other component applications where strength and corrosion resistance is needed at operating temperatures above 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Type 416 has the same 0.15 max carbon and chromium at 12 to 14 percent, but has sulfur added to improve machinability. Often it has lower actual carbon content and typically is used at lower hardness than 410. Sulfur has a negative effect on toughness and corrosion resistance. This grade is used where the machine, where the added machinability offsets a loss in corrosion performance and mechanical properties. 416 is used in a wide variety of applications such as screw machine parts. As we have said before, specifications often restrict the chemical composition further and add requirements for the material far beyond just the chemistry. Specifications and part requirements can alter what we have shown you here today for the 141st time. No? Check. Yes. Check. The specs. Mm. Twice. All right. So stay tuned for part two, the higher carbon, higher hardness, Martin Siddick stainless steel alloys. For more information on Specific alloys, Martin Siddick or not, check the website. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. If you are still here and haven't subscribed, please consider doing so now. Miss last week's video? There it is. Thank you for tuning in. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you next Thursday, same time, same place, 10 a.m. YouTube. I'm out. <laughs>